he was my ink guy back uh, back when it was like thirty five dollars, and and yield farming was just like the most no brainer type of a uh, deal mm -hmm. for, in my opinion, back then. And then of course, oh, yeah. down let's APR. Um, but just the and again, I was talking about here. I, th I think a bunch of different takes. I got one more take I'm gonna put up here too that somebody tweeted at me. I think it's interesting, but I've always thought the farms being this core piece of the pitch of pulse chain, the liquidity, the bonding, you know, getting people involved, giving them a place, you know, own the casino type of thing with PulseX. It's I always knew it'd be valuable. So I always knew it wouldn't be that dump forever token. I just, I, I just couldn't believe it. I could not believe it would be the dump forever. I didn't know how, I didn't know why, you know, look at the tokenomics, you know, they're not, they're not, you know, like hex, they're not like, you know, pulse chain. They're not like even pulse X at that point, there's a burning, there's no native stuff. There may be stuff with Tetra later, but i you know, is, is that the key? Again, a lot of things are just different in the RH ecosystem. Why is ink different? Why are, why are people, is it just speculation or do you think there's, there's something that, you know, we just haven't uncovered yet? Well, it's got like a lot of liquidity that does help to keep the price from just dumping to zero. I mean, it's still at what the, it hit the low was what? 30 something cents it hit. Or 30, not 39, 40 cents. I want to say high 40. 30s or 40. Yeah. So it's okay. like 10 X or something. Maybe it might, might've touched it. Eight, yeah. eight so, so it never hit, went zero, right? Then went sub pin anything like that, like Hex did, which is kind of funny if you think about it. It's a it's a token you get for you know, for for farming for free if you pro provide LP, and it still didn't go to zero, which you know Hex or didn't go sub penny, but Hex did. So it's or even Pulse and Pulse X aren't performing as well, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, but again, I think that's because the community are speculating on it. And that's why it pumps so much. Uh, well, why is surprise they are speculate what would make them say this thing will go up because it went to seventy dollars before i think they because it went to seven dollars before they think it would repeat again that's psychology mm -hmm. right it already went hit an all-time high once in at launch in a bear market now we're going to a bull market it should probably go past that 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 would be what i would say that that's that's driving the speculation on an incentive token Got you got another uh take here from uh the great hex the great hexolio i believe you said he'd be in the chat today shout out to him if he is um so in a close close system where everything is tied to the dollar the one that isn't ink ink is only bound to pulse pulse x benevolent entity inject capital disproportionately it's the largest portion of uh, pulse chain buy yeah so th this angle of you know whales buying things that are bonded to ink regardless of the fact that it's you know front and center of the pulse x ecosystem for field farming that sort of like it already has its own uh you know it already has its place to be showcased like people see it they know what they get it for all that stuff is the, is it liquidity bonding and speculation again just trying to help people understand like why why ink go up well yeah it's because liquidity bonding that is the reason so all right i don't have if you look at your chart and look up ink I would like to see how how much has went up. I know it's went up a 10x in pulse in, in dollar terms, but has it going to done, done 10x in pulse terms? That's that'd be my question, okay. because that's the ratio you need to see where ink is today in comparison to where it was, you know, you know, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. You see, that's that that's the true telling of value, because just because look, everybody's got green candles now. Every every pair that's out there is, that's bonded to pulse has green candles because pulse is pulling it up no matter what the token is but in ratio terms in pulse value how much has that ratio changed because some things are went upside down and they're not they're worth less now, a good example is tetra tetra used to be you used, used to be able to get 14 uh pulse for one tetra token now you only get like six and a half to seven or whatever it is right now so technically tetra has actually went down in value in, in pulse terms but went up in value in dollar terms so that's the true rate. That's the true numbers. All right. So where are we at now? Um, Look at the daily 15. What do you think is so? Wow. Yeah. yeah you can zoom in. Yeah. So uh, you, about the bottom is where we started injecting capital. So yeah, this went up pretty good. So that's about eight to three. It's, 20, it's uh, three X. So it's three X in pulse terms and 10 X in dollar terms. What does that mean for people? Like, what, is, what does that mean? means though you're getting a 10x in dollar terms and if you bought ink at the bottom at, at, at that bottom point and then you sold it today in dollar terms you get 10 10x your dollar amount you put in in dollar terms but in pulse terms you only get a 3x okay that's a big difference because what do you want to hold right now in a, in a market with that's moving up 
with these these tokens like Pulse and PulseX? Uh, you, do you want to hold? Do you want to hold dollar coins, or do you want to hold the assets appreciating? Well, I want to hold yeah. the assets appreciating personally. Things that, Good. things that are bonded to the thing appreciating too. Ah, know. but here's the thing: just because something is bonded, not necessarily ink, ink's, ink's a little different. But let's say you have just any 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 mean token is bonded to Pulse. It, just because Pulse is going to pump and bring it up in dollar terms does not mean you can get your Pulse out of it. So you go to trade, you're going to get less and less Pulse for the same number of tokens as time goes on. Unless other people buy that mean token with the pulse they have, you see. Yeah. The, you see that that's that's is, that's the important thing. But the chart here is show. I mean, if you just look at this chart in retrospect, it looks like hey, ink is outperforming pulse. Ink went up more mm -hmm. than anything else. It did that before. It you know now I mm -hmm. it's just speculation. Like why would why would mm -hmm. why would this chart again? This is not against USD. This is against pulse. It's not USD chart. Why is it going up so much against pulse chain? It, it's, it's doing better because people, more people are buying it, and it's got small, uh, lower liquidity. It's only got what's the liquidity? I can't. It's Twenty-two million versus fifty, so it's half the liquidity of uh, yeah a pulse uh, right now. Roughly. Actually, well, when Go Pulse says seven million. You say twenty-two million here? Okay. Yeah. So, um, so what it is? It's less liquidity. So as people buy, it pushes the price up, right, faster than it does Pulse or Pulse X for the same amount of money, right? It just you know, V two liquidity how it works. So there, there you go. There's your good example of, of and people are more, more people speculating on it versus maybe just buying Pulse or Pulse X for whatever reason. And there's nothing wrong with that. These are good games to play. And because of the, that tweet, the guy was exactly right. The bond liquidity allows people to move, to extract value with the ink token without having a dollar value attached, a dollar coin attached to it. So there's no stable coin attached to ink in the large liquidity pool. So if you want to get out with ink, you're getting out with via Pulse or Pulse X, wherever, whichever pair has the best uh, and thickest liquidity, gives you the most value for your extract value you can extract. So if you're if you're farming right now and you're farming ink tokens, you're, you're going to get you know more and more Pulse as you you know, exit out than you were you know three weeks ago. I want to bring up to this one and just talk about what Richard said. So. I thought the most interesting part of this was was he given a hint here? So the chart kind of looks like leverage on PLS and PLSX. Is there any hint? You read anything into that? Let's see here. Well, kind of. I mean, so he's just saying the same thing. He's like, look at the bond liquidity and how it works because that's the key. See, Richard's done this in such a way that all his stuff's going to move together, right? And he's going to allow, I mean, if you're if you hold hex, and you want to get out now, you can get out through three different wet ways. Through, you know, ink's a way because you could trade a pair from hex to ink to pulse, or hex to pulse, or hex to pulse X, X or however you want to do it. So, I mean, if you're a hexagon, you, you will have a way out. Uh, and that's good because, I mean, it allow, allows you to do it in a way that really doesn't just, just destroy the charts. Because now you have, you know, three different tokens, all three bonded together, and three different, well, probably more than that, let's say one. You have three different pools, and those three pools share liquidity. So therefore, they're all going to move and, 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 and respond with each other, respectively, as the, the price of the main asset goes up and down in, in dollar terms, because it's you know it's paired with die. Well, we saw what happened with Icosa recently too. Of you mm -hmm. know, Tommy talks a lot about Icosa being leverage on Hex, for example. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of what people are picking up? You know, when you say that, it's like, oh, well, that does that mean Icosa could go up way more than Hex from the bottom, that kind of thing? And or yeah. you think people are kind of relating ink to, well, ink, if, if ink is leverage on Pulse and Pulse X, could ink go up more than they could? Is that kind of yeah. part of the speculation? It, 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 exactly. And Sami was dead on. I listened to his video earlier today. He was dead on. That's exactly right. Um, just because how how they're ratioed together in, uh, in liquidity. So, and made more people speculate too on, like Icosa, Hedron, things like that uh, in, in the system. So it just depends on where you want to be and where you want to end up. And this is where you have to have a good plan in place and, and markets are moving like this. Where do you want to end up in which token? Do you want to be in Pulse, Pulse X, you know, Hex, Icosa, Hedron, Inc., whatever. Because they're all kind of tied together now within the system. And there's good place you can be to leverage and be and get more of the token you want to end up, if you want to end up, like, like Sami said, if you want to end up in Hex and you pick Icosa now, you can buy more Hex later because it'll probably go up faster than Hex does just because of how it works. I thought that was a pretty interesting uh, and astute um, analysis he did. 